Hello everyone, welcome back. We're going to go into Clanker's Cavern. Should be on part 10 now, I think. Uh, unless I miscounted. <laughs> oh, okay. Konkai wa atarashi akushon wa hitotsu dake desu. So kon kai, uh, kai meaning like a, 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 is a counter for number of occurrences. But also, I guess in this case, you know, just this time. Um, you could have said kondo as well, I suppose. But I feel like kondo has a bit more of a vibe of next time. Weirdly. Yeah, I think it has a bit more of a like, you know, this upcoming time will do something. Whereas konkai is this time, maybe. Yeah, I might be wrong, but anyway. Atarashi, new... Akushon uh, moves, so new moves. Uh, Hitotsu Dake, one only. And then Des at the end. Um, Skoshi, huh? Okay. Skoshi mitsuke ni kui tokoro ni imasu ga mitsukete kudasai. So he's, I feel like he's talking about himself there because we've got imas or iru which is to be somewhere or to exist. Um, and it's used for animals and humans and, you know, things that can move of their own accord. So um, so he must be talking about something that's alive and therefore it must be him, right? But he didn't bring himself up as a topic, which is quite interesting. But never mind. Um, skoshi mitsuke ni kui tokoro. Uh, skoshi means a little. Mitsukeru is to find. Mitsuke is the stem of that, allowing you to change uh, the ending of it to make it into, so, you know, to give it different meanings, to conjugate it. <clears throat> so, mitsuke uh, nikui basically means difficult to find. Um, and nikui and yasui are kind of the two things. They sort of should be grouped together, I suppose. Were it mitsuke yasui? That would mean easy to find, and mitsuke ni kui means difficult to find. And you can do that with any, the stem of any verb. You can add yasui or ni kui to it, and it means easy to verb or difficult to verb. Um, and tokoro, uh, that's a place, so that's all modifying tokoro. So, um, yeah, a little uh, difficult to find place, uh, kind of in, I suppose, in I am, in yeah, in I am. I am in a, a slightly difficult place to reach. And then got making it into but. Uh, but, mitsukete kudasai. Please find me. Oh, and then net at the end, just saying like, please find me, okay? Or please find me, you know? Like that sort of thing. Uh, what am I doing here? I need notes. I should save state actually. There we go. I want that. Yes! Okay, so we've got Watashi wa Muteki no Kin no Hane. Okay, excellent. Uh, so I, Muteki, means kind of. It sort of means invincible in the sense of unrivaled. Um. I'm kind of questioning their decision to use Muteki, actually. Because as I've said, like, Muteki is, like, unrivaled. It means, it literally means, like, to not exist an enemy. Um, Teki as enemy, Mu is like a reading of the kanji for to not exist, so unrivaled kind of thing. Which can mean that, you know, you can't be defeated. Um... But Fujimi is a better word for, like, immortal, because that means Fujimi is, like, undeath body, undeath body, an undying body. Um, but anyway, they've gone with Muteki for some reason. And then Keen is gold and Hane is a feather. So it's just, you know, I am a, an, invincib an invincibility, I suppose, because we've got no there. Although not necessarily, it could be... 
I am an invincible gold feather. Or, which I think it is, I am, uh, you know, uh, a gold feather of invincibility. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't think it's really clear. Um, it's, yeah, it's not so clear by the context. Well, it is by context, but, it's, you know, I think that this sentence could mean either of those. And then, Mogura no botoru zasan ga, uh, so uh, bottles, Mr. Bottles the mole. Kuashku shitteru yo. So, detailedly knows, basically, he, he knows the details. He knows for more. He knows more than. You know, find him to learn more, basically. He knows more. Oil movie! Why didn't you jump, Banjo? Is that all the, that all the notes? I'm sure this guy's one. It's kind of for no reason. So we've got Watashiwa Kuranka this, which is um well pretty obvious really. I am clanker. Pretty simple. I hate this. <laughs> that is uh absolutely horrible. Um a massive like shark thing in water. Yep, yeah, that's 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 hell. So yeah. Um Kokoni Tsunagare huh? Gomitsubu shi oh gomitsubu shi wo uh,させられているんです。ここに繋がれゴミつぶし。お、うん？ゴミつぶし。させられているんです。ゴミつぶし is like a well, gomi is trash or garbage or whatever, and tsubusu is like to. Um, kind of, well, crush it up. So I wonder if it's like gomi tsubushi. That's maybe like the act. The act of... No, well, that's kind of a noun, I suppose, isn't it? So yeah, kind of the act of crushing garbage. Sase, oh, sase laleteiru. Okay, this is quite funny. This is like causative and passive at the same time. Okay. Yeah, I think I think I I think I see. Gomitsubushi wo sase lalete. So it's like I I am being caused or like forced or made to do uh garbage crushing or garbage, you know, not probably not literally crushing, but garbage um disposal. Uh, because I guess does he eat it? I think he eats all the trash, right, or whatever. Um, he's being very polite for a a pained shark. And then koko ni tsunagare. Um, I thought tsunage, uh, sorry, tsunagu, was like for two, like a, a kind of to be joined. Um, tsunagu is like maybe like a, a wire, like join something to something else, and those two things are now. Tsunaideru. Um they are they are joined by a like a wire. But I guess he's just saying that he is, you know he he is oh yeah, I guess that makes sense actually, doesn't it? He is joined to this place or at this place. Well tsunagare again is passive, isn't it? So I wonder if it's like 
at this place I am being? Like held, connected? Excuse me. Go to Bushi will sase lale te irun desu. Hmm. Yeah, something like that. I think, you know, <laughs> shouldn't get too hung up on it, really. And then, konna yogoreta mizu wa uh, kirai nan desu. Uh, so, konna is like this much or, you know, yeah, yeah, this sort of, this kind of, this much of, whatever. Um, so, I guess in this case, like this kind of yogoreta mizu, like um, dirtied water, basically. Kirai meaning to hate, and then Nandes is just, uh, you know, again, that kind of explanatory, uh, assertive language sort of thing. Um, and, yeah, you have to say Nandes, you can't say no des here, because it follows, like, technically like a noun, um, so you have to say Nandes, you can't just say Kirai no, that makes, that doesn't work, Kirai nano. Kirai nan desu. So, yeah. And then, kirei na kuki ga hoshi. So, here we, this is good because we've got kirei here used to mean clean or fresh. It's like kirei na kuki. Kuki is like, a, uh, well, basically air. I suppose it can sort of mean an atmosphere and, and things like that. Kuki. But yeah, it, I think it basically means air. Like an uh, yeah, gassy atmosphere, an air atmosphere, air. Uh, so kirena kuki, clean kuki, clean air. Ga hoshi is desirable, or again, less literally, you know, I want, um, you know, clean air. <coughs> I don't know, really? Sort of opens the the rest of the level up, really, so. Oh, I hate it, man. <laughs> sort of big, big machines underwater. Submechanophobia, I think it's called. I have that. So, there you go. In fact, it, 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 it's probably more, I think it's more megalophobia. That's why I have it's big stuff in general. I don't like it. But then when, when it's <laughs> coupled with being underwater, that's just, that's even worse. Uh, what's going on here? I need that. Give me that. Give me that one too. Thank you. <coughs> oh God. Okay, that's good, because the level before, right, was Buku Gekko Numa, which is, you know, bubbly something swamp. And he's saying Buku Buku, which I guess is, you know, well, no, he's not saying it. It's probably just a noise of the bubbles, like, um, you know, uh, coming out of him. So it's sort of going Buku Buku. That's, that's bubbles coming out of him, I think. And then Watashi wa Guru Ubu. Huh? Is that Ubu? Guru Ubu da. Don't know what that means. Probably just a name. Guru Ubu. Gu Guru Ubu. Oh, Groob. Is his name Groob? Guru Ubu? Maybe. Or Gloob? <laughs> I don't know what it is in English, but yeah, it's probably the same, right? Gloob or something. Guru Ubu da. Kuki ga tarinaku nattara. Let's just scroll. Uh, watashi no awa wo totte kure. Uh, so kuki is air again. This is, you know, air. Tari nai. Well, tariru is to be enough or to be sufficient. So tari nai is the negative of that. So to not be enough or to not be sufficient. Um, and this is kind of awkward. It's become tari naku because we want to kind of make it into like a, an adjective. Well, we just need to make it tari naku instead of tari nai, so that we can add naru onto the end of it. And then, unfortunately, that verb also has been conjugated. So rather than it being tari naku naru, 
It's now tari naku natara, which means when or if it becomes, you know, um, uh, when or if your air becomes um, insufficient. Uh, watashi no awa, my bubbles. Awa is bubbles. And then totte kure, just, you know, take my bubbles. Um, yeah, I don't know why he's saying kure, really. I don't, yeah, I don't really know why he's saying kure. It's sort of unnecessarily a bit of a mix of a <laughs> kind of s sort of a bit weirdly polite but also imperative at the same time. It's, it's kind of funny. Excuse me. Oh. I use R to turn quickly. That's helpful. Never used to do that before. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, thank you, you. I'm coming up. Uh, yeah, okay, so we have oon, just a noise, I write. Shin, uh, 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 a noise, I think. Shinsen na kukida. Uh, shinsen, um, I think shin is the word for, like, new. Uh, or the kanji for new, I mean. It's the same kanji as atarashi, meaning new. And sen, I think, uh, just actually means fresh. And for some reason, you need them together to say the word fresh. And it's obviously a na adjective. Shinsen na kuki. Uh, so fresh air. And then da, just a declarative. It's fresh air kind of vibe. And then kuranka no senaka no ue no orei wo motte itte kudasai. Um, so clankers, senaka is your back, quite simply. Yeah, there's not really any other way to put it. Senaka is one's back. Uh, no ue, so on top of or above uh, the back of clanker. And no orei, so it's all modifying orei actually. So it's orei as like um, a prize or a reward. So it's like the reward of, on top of the back of Clanker. It's kind of a, you know, kind of a way to consider uh, translating it if you want to think about the actual function of the Japanese words. Yeah. And then, wo motte ite. Um, well, motsu is to possess or to have or to hold. Um, and so you can use it with direction verbs. Motte kuru means to, to bring something. And motte iku is to take something. So motte ite kudasai is just the te form of take, uh, with please at the end. So please take it, uh, kind of, uh, arguably away. I don't know, but... I don't know why he would want us to take it away, but he's given it to us, obviously. I don't really know what to do. I, I, I like obviously, I can go up here and <laughs> get this. Uh, might not be so much talking in this level, actually. Lovely. Oi, oh, oh, oh. Need to do that. We'll get this, and I think he'll say something else to us, right? Get the notes. Mushiba ga itai. Okay, that's kind of. I don't really like the fact that they've put ga here instead of just next to the word it's modifying. Uh, kondo. Okay, so it looks like he's actually using kondo here as this time or now, which is uh, 
Yeah, which is good, actually, because it means we can see that it can just mean, you know, now as well. So this time, Mushiba. Mushiba, I think, is like, this is like bug combined with the word uh, ha, which is tooth. And so it's Mushiba, which is like a, you know, um, a rotten tooth, I suppose. Mushiba. Um, one second. Oh, is it not? Is it not? Mushiba? I thought it was. Really? Well, I might be wrong about the... I might be wrong. I, uh, I don't think I am wrong. What's going on? The dictionary just doesn't have a an entry for it. I might be wrong about the kanji. Mushiba. Ha no katai soshiki ga. What is this? This is too complicated. Oh. Oh. Okay, I think this is really unnecessarily like complicated uh scientific words, but I think it's just saying that it's when your tooth the the structure of your tooth kind of becomes hollow, I, I might be reading here. Is that what I'm reading? I don't know. I, I, I think it's just a rotten tooth, really. So, yeah. And then ga itai. Itai, as we've said, is like the uh, adjective of like, you know, painful, basically, or less literally. Th this time my, you know, my, my tooth hurts or my bad teeth hurts, especially, or something. And then gomi wo kami kami shisuki tanda. Uh, kami kami? Well, kamu can be to chew something. I think that's that's kamu. Uh, is to chew. So kami kami, I guess, is just a sort of an onomatopoeic version of that verb. So, and then, yeah, she making it into a verb, basically. Gomi wo kami kami shi. That's the stem of suru. And then sugita. So to have done, you know, excessively, to have done too much. So I, I, I chewed too much garbage or I chewed garbage too much or something. And then unda again. I really like it in this. Uh, I really like unda in this game. And then kuranka wo taskete. So we help Clanker. Uh, again, uh, referring to himself by his own name. <gasps> Excuse me. And we will do that. If we can. This is really, really bad camera. Oh! Just trying to press C down, so I did that. Oish! Nice. Okay, so kochi no mushiba no itami wa naurimashita. Arigato. Um, yeah, kochi, like this side's mushiba. I, well, I guess it's this side. It kind of means, you know, this way's rather than this side. But yeah, this way's mushiba, this way's rotten tooths. No itami. I guess that's just making it into a noun. Itami. So the pain of on this side, on the tooth on this side. Naurimashita has healed um, or has has fixed kind of vibe and then arigato obviously just thank you and then oyo I think that's just like a sound of surprise uh, nanika hasamatte itamitai desu yo okay nanika is like something hasamu is hasamu is to be like I think like pinched between or or um, well, scissors are hasami, aren't they? And they kind of like, they close in together. Um, but this is hasamaru, isn't it? Or is it hasu? 
Hold on, let me just look up Hasamaru. Yeah, to get between, to be caught in. So Hasamatita is like, you know, there was something. Uh, this is kind of, actually, this is kind of a past continuous sort of thing. Like there did, there existed something. There was something caught. And then Mitai is a way to say, uh, uh, like, it is like there was something. Or it seems, I guess. It seems there was something caught uh between my teeth or something i guess and then desio just this kind of uh way to end a sentence i suppose okay nice uh kochi mo so uh this way also itami wa toremashita um the pain I guess tolelu, is that potential form of toru? So it's like you were able to take the pain away? Or you succeeded? Yeah, you were able, you succeeded in taking the pain away, maybe. And then more, sukari daijoubu desu. I think sukari, does that mean just like completely? <clears throat> All completely thoroughly. Yeah, okay, so just completely, it seems. Uh, Mo, so... Uh, Mo is... What do you say, Mo? Mo is kind of like... Any more when used in a negative, right? So I guess here it's like... Uh, yeah, now, I guess. In this, If you could think of any more as not being negative. Like, I am fine... I am completely fine anymore, but in a positive way. I know that some people actually say that, which is crazy to me. But yeah, so it's kind of I am I am now, you know, completely fine, as opposed to before when he was in pain. <clears throat> and then Kumasan Arigato, Mr. Bear, thank you. Just pop in there and get me uh get me jiggy. Where is it? Hello. Oh yeah, look, there it is. I'm gonna have to come back for it then, I suppose, aren't I? Okay, I'll just try to remember. Oh. is going on in here. Okay, there's notes down there. So I obviously want to... Whoops. Weesh. Obviously want to get them. Whoops. If I can. Uh, this is just going to take me out. It's gills, isn't it? Gross. Can I go back in? Banjo. Oh, good. So 
Jinjo down here, isn't there? Yes, there is a pink one. Okay. Oh. oh yeah, I'm invincible, aren't I? <laughs> so I don't need to get health. Ridiculous. Chicken chan no hane de shield shite, okay? Uh, teki kara mi wo mamoru waza. Okay, that's kind of enough information, really. He's obviously got to finish it, actually, because it's not quite done, but yeah. Um, so, chicken chan is kazooie, uh, no hane de, so using chicken chan's hanes, which is her wings. Uh, shield shite, shield is just, you know, shield. That's said in katakana. Shite just makes it into a verb, um, a te form verb, so we can continue the sentence. Uh, teki kara mi wo mamoru waza. So waza is like a move or a technique. So it's a technique that uh, protects your body, me is, is body, from enemies, basically. Yeah. Okay. And then Wanda Wing wo Oshiyamasho. So Wonder Wing is the name of the uh, move. And then Oshiyamasho, like let's teach you that. Or I will teach you that. Oish. Okay, so Sorewa Sugoi ya. So that is incredible. And then ya for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, tsumari Muteki Tekoto. Um, tsumari means like in other words, um, yeah, yeah, kind of does, just that's it, just it means in other words, tsumari, and then muteki te koto, um, koto, how do you describe koto in this, in this context? Koto is sometimes used to mean, to have a lot to do with meanings, um, so, for example, do you koto means like what sort of meaning do you mean? And then so you koto means um, sort of that kind of meaning. Um, so sometimes it can mean, yeah, sometimes it can mean meaning, which is a weird thing to say. But yeah, muteki te koto. I feel like we're saying muteki and then te means i suppose it's kind of quoting the definition of this word maybe and then saying meaning you know do you mean and then quote invincible does it mean we'll be invincible in other words does that mean we're invincible is is a simpler way to to think about it i don't know why he's saying mochiron again because it's not necessarily slightly apparent to us that that is would be his answer. So I don't know why he's saying Mochiron, but anyway, he is. That means of course. And then we have Zeddo Botan wo Oshitama ma ni shite, shi migi Botan wo Oshimas. Um, uh, so uh, cause or make the Z button to be in the state of being pressed. <laughs> Very clunky. Um, and then she migi botan wo oshimas. So C right button press. Press the C right button. And then 3D stick de using the 3D stick. Ugoki mawaru. Ugoku is to move around. Uh, sorry, is to move. And mawaru is to, I guess, you know, uh, adds the around meaning to this. So to move around. Move around koto mo dekimas. So you can also. 
you know, achieve or complete the phenomenon of moving around. You can also move around. This is, this is what uh, kono waza ni wa. I'm a bit annoyed that it's ni wa, to be honest. Uh, maybe it's like to this technique or for this technique. Kin no hane ga hitsuyo desu. Gold, feathers um, are a requirement or are needed. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to make that my realization the other day that it was a. It was kind of a noun. I'm still trying to make it. Oh no, it's not adjective, isn't it? It's itsuyo na mono. Yeah, so I suppose it's a na adjective. It's a kind of a noun adjective. It's a combo thing. I think na adjectives generally are. Um, so kin no hane ga hitsuyo. Uh, required. It sounds passive, doesn't it, in English? Anyway, basically they're needed, yeah. Gold feathers are needed. Um, yeah. Kin no hane wa ichido ni jumai madeshika mochi hakobu koto ga dekimasen. So again, we've got this shashka with a, like a negative verb. Um, so he said at the top, he said kin no hane. So, uh, uh, and then wa. So golden feathers. Um, at kind of one time, basically, at one time, uh, 10. Jumai is 10. You don't need to worry too much about the mai. It's just a counter that's used for flat objects. Jumai, made. So until 10, uh, or rather other than until 10, you cannot carry, uh, you cannot carry them. So kind of other than 10, you cannot carry uh, any. <laughs> Or uh, even less, uh, literally and more naturally, it's, you know, you can only carry 10. Um, sa, skoshi dake dake do. Okay. Now, or well now, or something. Um, a little only but, basically, skoshi dake dake do, only a little but. Uh, kichona kin no hane wo sashi agemasho. Uh, kicho means like valuable, I suppose, and it's obviously a na adjective, so valuable or treasured uh, gold feathers. Uh, sashi agemasho, which is a very, very kind of formal, like proper way of saying to give something. Sashi agemas, sashi agemasho. He could have just said agemasho, but for some reason he wants to say sashi agemasho. Uh, yeah, just very, very proper of him to say that. And then we have Kono stage de oboeru atarashi action wa. Um, so uh, on this stage, uh, learn new moves. Kore de oshimai des. With this, ended. With this, the end. So that's like the last of them, or whatever. Um, I'm not a speedrunner, but I'm going to pretend I am and try to run through this. I just, oh no, it didn't work. I'm invincible anyway. <laughs> Speed running. I'd better actually be invincible. Better save, actually, because if I die, <laughs> I'll have to get all the notes again. where the witch switch is, isn't it? Yeah, there it is, okay. Hmm. Do I want to go that way? Maybe eventually. Oops. 
Is this an exit? It is. So, why would I want to go the other way? Comb here. Is it there? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Got it. <coughs> Whoops. Skulls. Yes. down that slide. Eggs. Are that a honeycomb? Or is that here? Maybe it's there. Oh. <laughs> oh man, why is this ROM so broken? So... I don't know man. Is there a jiggy down here? notes. Okay, that's good, that's good. Oh, 
I don't want a life. Give me a, give me a jiggy. No, give me a jiggy. Tunnels and stuff. Oh, blue one. Okay. Where's the yellow one, though? notes in one of them. There's that green thing there. We'll go in there because obviously there's going to be uh, speech from those uh, frog lads or the crab boys, whatever they are. I don't know. Oh, oh no, it's good. <laughs> okay, so we have what de what de what muti sunipito. Okay. So ware ware. Ware is like a way of saying I, I suppose, and ware ware just kind of pluralizes it to be, you know, we. And then this is a katakana wa for some reason. Ware ware wa. But, you know, obviously I guess they're speaking quite roughly, so that so their speech is written in um katakana because it's uh yeah, rough sounding. It sort of emphasizes that. And then muti sunipito which I guess is, you know, mute like mutant, and then snippet dot is snippet, uh, whatever that means, the name of that crab little, uh, little crab name. And then Jigasaw, uh, Hoshkereba. Okay, so this is the sort of um, conditional of Hoshi, Hoshkereba. So if you desire a jigsaw, or if you want a jigsaw, ware uh, ware to tatakaye. Um, yeah, with us. Tatakaya. Tataka u is to fight or to battle. So tatakaya is the imperative of that. So um, you know, effing well fight with us if you want if you want a jiggy. Weak weaklings. <laughs> uh, and then of course we have this we're probably going to get this for every time we do this uh, uh, I don't know I guess that's a noise right and then uh, makeru is to lose basically to lose in a contest or a 
in this case a battle or whatever so makete shimatta and that's of course the um past tense of that kind of undesirable uh suffix that you can add to the end of verbs so we undesirably lost of course they did no one wants to lose and then jigusou motte ike uh, and this is the imperative of motte iku which means to take which Klan klanka said to us um to motte ike so take take it an f off kind of jigsaw the jigsaw will. i will I can backflip. Oh, okay. Nine. I thought we had. I thought I had a few left. Just gotta find the last ginger. Where is he though? I really don't know. Where is he? I think I've checked all the pipes, haven't I? <clears throat> oh, dude, don't do that. Beehive in the entrance area. Okay, that works. I need to go back anyway, so. up there, is he? I thought I got him already. I assume uh, Bottles is going to repeat himself. I don't think I'm going to pause. Kimi tachi no kono stage no onpu no besto kiroku wa Genzai hyakko desu. We'll just go and get the Witch Switch Jiggy. And this will be a much shorter video than uh, the other levels, somehow. Oh. Excellent. 
all right yeah done so yeah <laughs> if you like this like it please uh sub if you want thanks to my patrons thanks to you for watching hope it was worth it and i'll see you next time